everybody, welcome to today's video which is yoga for stress. Just find a comfortable seat. So Rue's sitting on a block, it helps to elevate his pelvis and I'm sitting on the floor. You could also use a cushion or a blanket. Stress is one of those things that, that grows, that culminates. It's like you think you're just so innocently moving through life, a little bit of stress, a little bit of stress, and then it keeps building up in your cup, and then one day the cup overflows, it might look like a breakdown or an illness. So building in little moments throughout your week to just manage your stress levels is a great practice of self-care um, and during this time of coronavirus, stress is a, f a friend right now. It's, it's right there with us. So this video is a dedication to managing our stress. So we're going to begin with some guided breathing. It's called Golden Thread Pranayama. And this breath was taught to me by Uma Dinsmore Tully. If you can see her book there. Okay, so it's nice to keep honouring our teachers. So here we go, make a nice long spine, open your chest, just tuck your chin slightly in and as you inhale with your nose, draw the breath in and as you exhale, imagine that you have a straw between your lips and let the breath go out of the straw. So inhale with the nose and exhale with the lips. So Uma describes this breath as imagining that a piece of golden thread pulls into the nose, to the nostrils on the inhale, and then it circulates around and comes out of the mouth on the exhale. So you could imagine a piece of golden thread or sometimes it also works with imagining, imagining a golden light. And we really want to focus on the exhale. It's the exhale that is inherently de-stressing, inherently calming and relaxing. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So now breathe naturally. Keep relaxing your face and your body. And if it feels organic to you, bring your hands into prayer. If, if that's not your thing, you're very welcome to keep your hands where they are. And just make an intention for this short practice to keep taking the time to care for yourself, always. Okay, so we're going to start in supported bridge, opening your eyes. You will either need a yoga block, a yoga block, or you can equally use a book, which I'm sure everyone has at home. So I'm going to place the block. So you see here. So Rue's feet are bent. They're on the floor, parallel to the top of the mat, in line with the knees. Knees in line with the hips. And then you lift the pelvis and pop the block under the sacrum. And let Rue do it because then he can position it exactly as he likes. So the coccyx, that little tailbone at the end, we don't want it on that. We want it on the big stable bone that's like a shelf. So you'll be able to feel that. And then when you are comfortable, just relax. 
Okay, so just imagine yourself kind of like glue beginning to stick to the earth. So you're so sticky and gluey that you can't help but settle down. I'm going to do some humming with you, which is another way that your body turns on the relaxation process. So very simply, you would inhale naturally, and then just on the exhale, you just hum. Mm. So maybe doing that. just staying quiet. way to make this practice restorative is for you just to completely surrender. Maybe if you're finding it hard to relax, try the humming breath. out of there so lift the pelvis just remove the block away and then we're going to place the block in between the thighs long way so block or book in between the thighs long way yeah so we're going to do a supported twist so draw your knees in towards your chest and open your arms in crew in a cross and if you don't have space you just do that now really restoratively drop your knees over to the left, all the way, maybe pop your left hand on your right knee and twist to the right. So remember this is not a working twist, this is a twist dedicated to de-stressing and relaxing. Turn your abdomen and bring your knees back to centre and take a nice abdominal breath in centre. So inhale, fill your chest and exhale, pull your belly in. Yeah. And then drop your knees over to the other side. So no need to push or force or work in any way, just let gravity do the work for you. Come back to center, release your feet to the floor, take the block out from the, between your thighs and do one more of those nice big deep breaths. So inhale, expand your chest and your diaphragm and your tummy and then exhale, feel the tummy pulling in and up. So the next pose in the sequence, the sequence is renowned for de-stressing, is legs up the wall. So me and Rue both have a space here. I'll just get Rue into the pose 
and then I'll come and talk to you more about it. So you basically go find a wall space, come close to it, and bring your legs up the wall. Now, you can make this as, as professional and precise as you like. You might want to quickly grab some cushions and some blankets. Some people, <laughs> some people like to wrap a belt around the thighs to keep the legs in integrity and so that they don't roll out. However, if you just want to go to the wall and just pop your legs at the wall and then just surrender, that will work just as well. Breathing here. And you can just imagine and actually you can also feel that everything inside of you is slowing down. heartbeat feels calm your breath feels calm and your mind feels calm keep relaxing Keep letting go and remember that you have the tool of the humming breath. So if you're finding it hard to let go, so just a simple hum. can really make all the difference. If you have longer, feel free to stay longer. We'll slowly come out of the pose by just drawing the knees into the chest and rolling onto one side. And take a breath on that side. Big inhale. And a nice long slow exhale. And then come up and come back to your mat. And it's the final pose, the all-important Shavasana. So lying down on your mat, release your legs, open your legs a little bit wider than your hips, let your toes flop out to the side, your palms are facing up and there's nothing touching the fingertips, and there's a slight curve in the back of the neck, and again you just remember that feeling of being like glue and sticking to the earth. Become aware of the soles of your feet and relax the soles of your feet. Become aware of the space in between your toes and relax the space in between your toes. Feel the heaviness and the denseness of your bones in the legs and relax the legs.
feel your pelvis sinking deep down into the center of the earth. Light glue. And feel all your internal organs that are always working so hard for you. Release. Rest. And digest. Become aware of the breath pattern that is within the chest area, the collarbones, the nose and the throat. Feel how every breath is like a new beginning and a new end. No inhale is the same as the next inhale, and no exhale is ever the same as another exhale. And the breath is one of our greatest teachers. It reminds us that we live in cycles. <coughs> Sometimes things are really good and we feel really happy and sometimes things are a little bit hard and we can suffer. But like the Buddha said, this too will pass and change is a constant. Relax the face, eyes, tongue, jaw. Let your head fall like glue into the earth. And again, if you have plenty of time, you can stay in Shavasana. 10, 15, 20 minutes. But we're going to come back to our body now by moving our toes and our fingers. And then reaching the arms up. And exhale, pull your knees into your chest and roll onto your right side. So come into the fetus position. This is the position when, at the end of all my group classes, I have the most students say, oh, I just didn't want to get out of that final fetus position. There's something about this position, it just feels, feels nourishing, like a, like a mother's hug. And everybody loves a mother's hug. Coming up to sit where we'll close. Cross your legs. So again, if it feels organic, you can bring your hands into prayer. And just take a moment to ask yourself the question, has anything changed? Do I feel any different now than I did before I began my class? We 
wishing you a very beautiful afternoon. Namaste.